my nature. Coming to you with my DIY deodorant. It's super, super easy. All you need are three ingredients. Coconut oil, baking soda, and some cornstarch. You can use some Indian feeling clay. I've tried it a few times. I don't particularly like it, but you can. There is recipes that have four ingredients, but I'll just stick with the three. So, coconut oil, baking soda, and cornstarch. It's really easy. Grab yourself a plastic bowl and mix the three ingredients together. I don't usually measure, but for you guys, I'm doing that today. I'm going to have a quarter cup baking soda. And this deodorant will last you probably about six months quarter cup baking soda, and a quarter cup of your cornstarch. Use any kind of cornstarch. It helps your skin keep it soft and prevents it from like chafing or anything like that. Now mind you, this is deodorant, not antiperspirant. There's a difference. Quarter cup, quarter cup. So equal parts. If you want to make a smaller amount, you can. You can just do less but just equal parts of those two. And then a half a cup of your coconut oil. So I don't like to put anything in my coconut oil because I do use this for body and cooking. As you know, coconut oil has so many different properties. And I just fill her up. If it's more, that's fine. Now, if you want to melt your coconut oil, I suggest you do it over like a cup of hot water or something. I don't because I like my deodorant to be a little bit thicker. So we're going to do two of those and I'm going to use a different spoon so there's no double dipping. You know what I'm talking about. So now we're going to get a half of the coconut oil mixed in with the baking soda and the Argo cornstarch. Again, don't put your coconut oil in the microwave to, to warm it or melt it because what happens is it negates a lot of the healing properties that are in the coconut oil to begin with. So you don't want to heat process it. Just mix it over some warm water or let it sit out. And mix it together. Now you're going to add a couple drops of essential oil, whatever kind of essential oil you want. When you mix it together, it should be like deodorant, kind of creamy. I set it in the refrigerator for maybe an hour or so to solidify it and then take it out and it stays pretty solid. If it gets a little too moist for you, put it back in the fridge or keep it in the fridge. It's up to you. The essential oils also act as a little bit of a preservative. And that's it. It should be a really creamy texture. Use plastic when you're dealing with essential oils because you don't want them to come in contact with metal. I like lavender. I use lavender for everything. My hair, my skin. More videos on lavender, I'm sure. Again, I don't measure, so I just put some drops in and then I smell it. And when it smells good, mmm. And peppermint. Peppermint's cooling, so I like that underneath my armpits because it's nice and cool. And I use less peppermint than I do lavender. Got lavender and peppermint and mix it together and the peppermint's a little bit stronger after I mix it up really good. Always use your essential oils with a carrier oil. Carrier oil is the coconut oil today. If it's too moist, add a little bit more baking soda and a little bit more cornstarch, just a drop or two. And again, if you want to use the, the clay, you can use clay. Now, I've already washed out a plastic container that I'm going to put it in. And the plastic container has been washed out, cleaned. I clean it with a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. And this lasts me about six months. Literally six months. That's a long time for deodorant that costs, God knows how cheap it is. I don't really do 
do it for the price, but I do it because I don't want toxic nasty stuff on my body. I kind of have this rule. If I can't eat it, then I don't put it on my body. So, yeah, this actually is edible, but I wouldn't want to eat it. And there you go, you have your deodorant. And it's nice and creamy. I put it in the refrigerator for maybe, I don't know, an hour or so to make it really solid and firm. It's a little bit where you can see how it jiggles. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> and that's it. DIY deodorant. I'll post some information down below so in case you have any questions about the different properties of the ingredients. But have fun. This is the finished product out of the refrigerator of my DIY deodorant. Notice it's solid now. And it goes on really smooth.